I do feel like a storyteller. I want to tell the stories of women who aren't here to speak for themselves, but it's always really important to me that I tell their stories in a lens of beauty. Hey everyone, welcome to Chat Central. The July-August issue of Darpen Magazine is out and it uh, has on the cover a visual artist. Uh, yes, Sandeep Johal is here with us and uh, we are going to ask her all about uh, what inspired her to be an artist. An Indo-Canadian visual artist. Wow. I haven't heard of too many. <laughs> there are well, yeah, what's the inspiration to get into this realm? Yeah, I mean, I've been drawing my entire life, so for me, art was just kind of second nature. Uh -huh. But with Indian parents, there's always that push to be a doctor, dentist, <laughs> lawyer. Um, so I did actually do a degree in biology, okay. and then I followed it up with a degree in education. So, you know, when I turned 30, I felt like I wanted to explore the arts in a more formal way, so I went to art school. And then a decade later, I started pursuing my career in earnest after I had my son. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So um, when did you decide what type of art you wanted to focus on? Yeah, I mean, I think it started back in art school. I did a series called When Honor Kills about honor killings that were happening in and around the Lower Mainland. Mm. And when Jyoti Singh was assaulted and died of her injuries, that kind of stirred up something in me and I knew I wanted to move in that direction again. and you know, really tackle those hard topics, those taboo topics, and really pay homage to these women. Right, so there's a story with all of your art then. Yeah, a lot of it is really narrative. Um, I, do, I do feel like a storyteller. I want to tell the stories of women who aren't here to speak for themselves, but it's always really important to me that I tell their stories in a lens of beauty. Great, so what are some of the topics that you focus on most of the time? Uh, yeah, so for my solo shows, um, my first solo show was Rest in Power and it was dedicated to 12 women whose murders had really impacted me deeply and half of them were South Asian and I just really wanted to bring light to violence against women and have people really think about those stories and think about their own ideas around violence against women and you know how we can change things. Uh, my next solo show centered around uh, women based off of novels by Indian authors. Mm. And so I was looking at these characters that were leading these very sort of tragic lives, but were really strong and they really persevered through these, these situations that they were forced into. Um, a large part of my practice is murals. Mm. Um, I do a lot of large scale murals and it's really important for me to have women centered in my murals and to have you know, to, for my murals to be really obviously South Asian. So when our community looks at them, they feel a sense of resonance, a mm. sense of visibility and representation, because that's really important to me to have that in the public space. So a feminist at heart? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> From the beginning. <laughs> and uh, all about gender equality. Yes. Great. Um, so tell us a little bit about your next project that you're working on. Yeah, I, so in the fall I'll be doing a residency with Broad Arts Foundation and I'll be looking at motherhood. Mm -hmm. I haven't done a series around motherhood yet, but I want to talk about the dark side of motherhood or mother is beast. Um, you know, because it is it is difficult these days with social media when you see all of these accounts filled with these perfect families and perfect photos and perfect photo ops and you start feeling like, is there something wrong with me? Like, mm. why don't I feel like these perfect photos? Um, you know, so I just want to, I want to get down and dirty and I want to talk about the struggles. I want to talk about the difficulties with motherhood and, you know, those things that people think and they feel but they're too scared to talk about because they're worried about being judged or deemed a bad mother. But it's all part of the process of, you know, being a mother and becoming a mother. And so that show will be out um, in January. And then next year I'll be doing a show with Surrey Art Gallery that was postponed because of COVID. How was the experience of the cover shoot today? Yeah, I mean, it, like last year, Darpin gave me the Visual Achievement Award and I felt so honored to be recognized by the South Asian community. Um, those types of things are really important to me as an artist and as a human. Um, so when I was told this week that I was going to be on the cover, I felt, oh, this is so great. This is my first cover. And, you know, I feel proud to be on the cover of an Indian magazine. Um, I want to encourage more South Asian kids to become artists. Um, that it is a viable path. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping that, you know, when they see me creating the work that I do, that it encourages them to follow in my footsteps. 
That's a wonderful message. That's, that's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank, thank you, you for adding color to that conversation. <laughs> Absolutely loved it. Uh, do check her out and uh, her website as well, sandeepjohal.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Like, share, and subscribe.